If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new Legends. It is Legends Saturday, as you guys do know. We got the pre-release last night. Didn't make the video on the pre-release. Honestly, I'm more of a morning video kind of guy for this stuff. Although, I will do it here and there. But it was my brother's birthday, so I was a little behind on that in terms of anything uh, in general. But guys, I'm super excited to go over the legends. Now today's legends, they're very, they're very um circumstantial, I should say. Depending on your team, depending on the way you play, will depend on if you use these guys, depending on how many coins you have. Now I'm excited uh, to see everything and see what we are getting today. I think that is super fun. Of course, I always enjoy a good legend Saturday. Now, of course, the packs will be in store any second now. You know, they're never late on their packs. Those are always on time. Uh, they make sure that's actually in the game usually before anything. Let's open up our Good Morning Madden pack as per usual. Kick it off. Maybe we pull a legend out of here. I don't even know what the pull rates of these things are. They're probably just full silvers. I don't think I've pulled anything better than a gold out of these. Ooh, two golds. All right, three golds. Oops, stand corrected. But guys, I'm super excited to get into today's Legend Saturday Legends. Make sure you are playing your token solos, guys. You do want to make sure you are getting your free legend at the end of the however many weeks it ends up taking to get this all done. You guys already know the deal. The players, legend sets. It's in the exchange, sorry. Uh, legend tokens exchange make sure you're getting them all in there you don't have to put them all in now you can just keep them in your binder put them in later it's really just up to you but make sure you're getting those done but before we get into today's legend saturday video make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell boys come join the family make sure to do a big thumbs up as always guys and hopefully if you guys have any other videos you want to see for the day comment them down below i have a few ideas i have some stuff recorded but let me know if you want to see anything specifically for today super excited for football tomorrow guys so hopefully we have a good saturday a good sunday morning i'm so excited to have sunday football finally back but yeah, let's get into this. Go check out all the legends. Hopefully stuff's gonna be on the block today. Hopefully there's not too much of a delay like there usually is. But guys, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of the video. Let's hop into this. And if you need any coins to pick up any of the new legends, any of these guys, make sure to go down below to muttreserve.com. Coins are currently on a big discount, so make sure you are taking advantage. And remember, if you use code Poodle at checkout, you get an additional 15% off. So if you're, trying to, if you're trying to boost your team up, make that God Squad, pick up these weekly legends, use code Poodle, enjoy the discounted coins. Let me know down below. Thank you, guys. Let's get into this. Guys, right, so let's go through the legend sets of the new players. We see Tony Gonzalez and John Lynch are the two guys. So you guys know how the deal already works with these guys. It's pretty simple. There's going to be two legends weekly, Tony Gonzalez and John Lynch, and they also have an LTD form. Now, this LTD form, guys, is very similar. Now, I think they need to extra incentivize these guys. The LTD form pretty much, guys, and, and essentially, it's just a powered-up version of the legend. The card art, of course, looks cooler, but if you power up the regular legend, you can change it to the card art. So they pretty much, it, it pretty much for the most part, is just a powered up version of the legend. Now, do I recommend getting the LTD? Maybe if you hate powered up, maybe if you want guaranteed coin value for the time being. I really don't know. Is it cool to pull them because you can sell them for a lot more? Of course. Now we gotta go over these guys' stats and check everything out. Sets as per usual, 88s down below, uh, 90, 90 overall. I wish there was a 91 this week. I thought maybe would have got at least one. They should have made it one at least because I want to be able to... I feel like Legends should always compete for the best players in the game. It's kind of been a thing they haven't done in the last few years that I wish they would have started implementing. Like, heavyweights, flashbacks, Legends. They always keep them, like, one overall behind. So, right now, we got we got, we got a few players in the game. Like, we got Barry at 93 already. Obviously, 90 is one of the higher overalls, but I feel like Legends should always be ahead of the game playing with the legendary players in the NFL. Just my personal opinion. I think it'd be more fun if they were... like Because that would make weekly Saturday Legend videos way more exciting in terms of, okay, we got the best cards in the game. Not we got tied for the best cards in the game or right below the best cards in the game so the new solos are out as well we got tony gonzalez and john lynch remember guys you always want to go ahead and play these solos when they do come out because you can get their power up this way never buy their power up now of course if you wait a few hours their power up will go down to like four to seven k if you really want to you can we don't care for the coins too much but like i always say a good strategy on a good legend day is always to play these the second they drop like sometimes they come out like five minutes early go ahead and just play them because you can potentially sell them for like 15 to 20k sometimes even 40 it depends how lazy people are and how quickly you can get the solos done but typically it is a it's, it's a pretty good way to make a decent amount of coins for, for literally doing nothing just playing a solo real quick flipping it and you could rebuy it back in like an hour for like a quarter of the price i used to do that but now that i do videos for you guys it's a lot harder to actually go ahead and you know follow through on that specifically considering i'll be super late on the video or i'll be playing it on the video either way let's head over to the auction blocks see if some of these cards are up yet now in terms of tony gonzalez and john lynch who do i want John Lynch reminds me a lot of uh, a lot of Steve Atwater, so it really just depends on the stat difference. They are different positions, but I do have Isaiah Simmons, so it's kind of tough to make that decision. I do think, though, that Tony Gonzalez is typically super overpowered because he plays like a wide receiver, and that's always been kind of like the claim to fame for him when you play with him. He just he just he plays like a wide receiver. Now we got Tony Gonzalez up. Tony Gonzalez, 90 overall tight end, vertical threat for the Chiefs. Now the thing with Tony Gonzalez, guys, like I said. 
he plays like a wide receiver. So, you know how OP that is to have at uh, tight end? He's got 83 speed, 71 strength, 90 catching, 90 catch in traffic, 88 spec catch, 90 short route running, 9, 87 medium route running, 70 run block. Now, the run blocking isn't great, but honestly, it's not horrible. For one of those day one Tony Gonzalez cards, typically it's a little bit lower. Not horrible run blocking. We'll get the job done right now, per se. Uh, 71 strength, 84 agility, 83 speed. We saw 87 excels. That 87 excels really good. 88 awareness. That means that when you throw those little out routes for him or little little flag routes and he catches that, he's going to be able to cut up field pretty fast. 90 catching, 89 jumping, 91 injury, 90 stamina. And in the greater 88 spec catch, uh, low stiff arm, great carry. 81 jukes, actually not bad. And then he's got 80 break tackle. Guys, he's going to be great. He's going to be great. Now, he's not going to be the best deep route runner, but for the most part, you're going to use Tony Gonzalez in the middle of the field. He's going to be really really good at middle of the field routes like in routes out routes anything he's gonna be great now here's the thing you might say 83 speed oh that's that's no better than jonu smith or like george kiddo any of those guys yes but the difference is that route running so 83 speed looks actually faster when they're great route runners and i'll make i'll make that make sense to you right now when you're playing with the tight end you know the routes they were run right they run like little out routes in routes over the middle right when they do those and they have horrible route running they're slow but their cuts are even slower but they're on linebackers linebackers aren't that fast right now so they're even in speed the difference is going to be that 90 short route and the 87 medium if you could power him up and get him up to a 90 medium route running when he makes that cut on that out route or something he's going to absolutely turn the hips of that safety slash up linebacker he's going to be overpowered i'm telling you tight ends are super hard to cover right now and a guy like tony gonzalez is definitely going to make cause a lot of issue any six foot five which is great too he has the height I really like this Tony Gonzalez card. Now, do I think it's the most hype banger card we've seen in a while? By no means necessary. I do not think that. But do I think he's really, really useful and it could be super dominant weak in league right now? Yes. For sure. Just with that, I'm telling you, that route running is different. That's always been the thing with Tony Gonzalez. When he gets a good card, he's always has he always has great route running. Now, his next card, which we usually got around like most feared, he ends up getting like some crazy 95, 96 route running. And he's really just crazy because you can't cover that. Wide receivers can be covered because they're on the great cornerbacks, but... Tight ends are either a open or on safeties with no man coverage or on linebackers with no man coverage so their route running just looks 10 times better than it really should and then of course we got john lynch which oh he's a, he's a strong safety right uh we have john lynch who again looks like a better outwater a decent amount better i mean it's not it's not nothing like it's not like he's bad but i will, I will show you guys both cards in just a second so the base john lynch is 86 speed 87 excel 89 tackle 90 play rec 89 pursuit 76 man and 87 zone 91 hit power now i wish the speed was a little bit higher but again, powered up in Kemdiv, guys, you can get him to a 90 zone and 92 hit power and 86, 87 speed. Of course, I'm not going to factor in Sprinter because no one really has that yet. But he's going to be a threshold zone guy. He may even hit the man 80 threshold as well as a higher play rec, a good speed, and great hit power. So, guys, that's going to be a meta safety right now. Now, do I think he's better than Isaiah Simmons? I mean, it's close. I mean, in terms of cover, it depends if you're using or not. If you're leaving them in space, if you're leaving them alone, John Lynch is better. If you're leaving them alone right now if you're going to be using isaiah simmons is way better because of the speed now the thing is i put isaiah simmons at, at linebacker so john lynch could be good to leave in his own up the field now do i think john lynch is a must scoop uh if you it depends it depends on his price if they come down to like 300k it's a great card you power him up and chem him up you are gonna be able to get him to that zone threshold which is super important as well as his ltd which i don't recommend you keep if you pull that card please sell it don't be that guy that is such a great price to sell for now this card on the other hand this card right here is super great as well. 87 speed. 92 hit power, 88 zone. This card's crazy good. Again, just you can just power up the base one for the most part. This card is still really, really great. I really like this card. Do I think him and Tony Gonzalez are the best because of legends? No, but you guys may not like the names as much in terms of like, oh, it's not Dion or Randy Moss, but the stats are there. John Lynch is not bad. Now, he's very similar to uh, Steve Outwater, but he's better. He's better, and that's what matters. And then Tony Gonzalez, of course, is great too. So I think we added two usable players. I just hope the price comes down to something, you know, more affordable. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's legend video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, if you guys need coins to pick up any of these new legends, Mount Reserve currently has a big discount going on. Take advantage. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Just great value on coins there, guys. Don't open the packs. Don't spend a few hundred bucks. Just buy the buy the coins. Get your guaranteed legend instead of packs that you're never going to pull these guys out of that's about it guys enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace